Hey, what's going on? So, my name is Brian. I have a company, Freedom From Concern, and a website. You can check me out. I uh, don't, I'm an affiliate marketer and in advertising and stuff, and I don't really promote brands like this. <laughs> but Apple, this is Apple's page um, about their company. They had a level of loyalty. Um, and it's one of the reasons they have hit $233 billion in 2015. <laughs> so, you know, imagine Apple started in 1976 with just a couple of kids, and they are now worth $240 billion, with a B, dollars. Well, they started from somewhere. <laughs> and uh, the reason... One of the reasons is Apple's high level of brand loyalty is considered unusual. Um, they have a culture and they have people that really recommend them and recommend their products. And the reason why is because they're unique in one aspect or another and they work and they make people happy and give people value. Well, um, this company here, uh, <laughs> It's pretty cool. Um, it's pretty cool. They are kind of like Starbucks ripping poor sticks, but there's just absolutely crazy, crazy um, benefits to it. There's crazy benefits to what's in the in the coffee itself. It, it has Garcinia, which Dr. Oz talks about all the time. Ginseng, which helps you focus. I mean, everybody knows about ginseng. Um, L-carnitine and chromium, which is um, helps with building your your you know muscles and stuff, and helps with weight management and creating more of a healthy person. A lot of weight loss people know about that stuff. And then it has all this other cool stuff in it. You could read about it on my you know on my page if you're interested. But Here's the cool thing. The cool thing is, is culture, right? We're talking about culture. Um, where was it? Right here. We're talking about culture. And the culture of a brand is when there's value there and people use it and love it, they show it to other people. They recommend it, like Apple, like, you know, oh, check out my iPhone 6. It's awesome, man. You gotta, it's amazing. So we're talking about coffee. Why, you know, People go to Starbucks mostly and they buy coffee or they, you know, coffee's like, I don't know, four or five bucks for a cup or they, what do they do? They make it at home. They make it at home. They brew a cup in the morning and they're drinking it and they don't really know what they're drinking. They just go buy whatever's on the shelf in bulk and drink it and it gives them energy. Well, what if less coffee you drank gave you energy made you focus like insanely amazing gave you clarity made you feel great and also there's a lot of stories about how it makes you just do things it makes you more healthy there's a lot of these properties that help with inflammation they help with arthritis they help with blood pressure, all kinds of things. I mean, just look at these people's incredible processes of their results and their transformations. It's just, I mean, it's just amazing. And, and here's the cool thing. The cool thing is this company, Valentis, they have reached their... I guess what they call it, they call it in this industry, I don't know much about this industry, they call it in this industry a critical mass. Um, it says they've officially reached $800,000 in revenue in January. That's just right now, January. February is going to be a million dollar month. And if you know anything about businesses and trends, when a company hits a million dollars a month, people take notice. Um, you know, people really take notice.
I'm not going to say. Here's the bottom line. You know, everybody drinks coffee. Most everybody drinks coffee. And, you know, the time is now because they're hitting their million dollar month and there's companies open, you know. Someone just got Nigeria. I'm going to try and get India. Um, my friend of mine got Costa Rica. Another friend of mine got Puerto Rico. You know, they're, they're going. They're going. And if you want to jump in front of the train, jump in front of the train. I mean, look at what Apple did when they started, you know. This is your opportunity to get in front of something, kind of like what, hap what Apple got, you know, did, you know. It's probably not going to be as, as big as Apple, but, I mean, look at what you could do if you could get people to drink more coffee that's better for them. How you could help them change their life by not only losing weight, but feeling better. Saving a ton of money on a cup of coffee. And just having a ball and making crazy amounts of residual income that, you know, all you did is change something about what you were doing. <laughs> so visit dropthefat.now or dropthefatnet. What? Visit dropthefatnow.net <laughs> and learn more about me and more, more about Valentis and more about the company and how you can get paid and jump in front of this. Um, as I said, I don't do this stuff, so, you know, I'm a little rusty on this kind of stuff. But, hey, work with us. And, uh, you know, let's help millions of people be debt-free and lose a ton of weight. Bye. This is Brian.